Okay, let's get into it. If you were living under a rock, then you have not heard about the Will Smith and Chris Rock Oscars debacle. That happened last night live on television. Now, Chris Rock is a comedian and came out and made a joke. You know, he fires his guns at people as he does. And he decided to make a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith's uh, current hair situation. Now, if you are a woman and you know how difficult it is to not have your hair, not by choice, then you can understand the sensitivity around this topic. Um, Chris Rock made a joke and Will Smith seemingly sort of laughed in that moment and kind of was like, ha 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 ha, and then proceeded to walk on the stage and slap oh. the mouth. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, why did he laugh and then get mad? But what I think people need to remember is that we didn't see Jada's full reaction. We got a snippet of it and she did not look impressed. Now, we know from her show, her talk show and her Instagram that she's expressed that this has been a difficult time with her hair loss and experiencing that and having to come to terms with that. And as a woman, losing your hair is very difficult. And as a black woman, it's even more of a difficult task because there's a whole thing around our hair. That's always been the way it's been um so we don't know what will may have seen after the camera looked away from jada and how she may have reacted that may have caused him to switch it up to go from ha 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 to no 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 so i'll start off by saying no i do not condone violence do i condone slapping somebody in the mouth when they step over the line no but also kind of yeah sometimes comedian title or not some things aren't funny some things are difficult to deal with and because you are a comedian sometimes you can put yourself outside of the person's feelings and just make a joke to make a joke but that doesn't always mean the receiver needs to receive it well it just happens to be what it is and i don't think in that moment it was received well by jada nor will smith as a husband i think he went into intense protective mode and lost it a little bit We've watched as Will Smith and his family have been the butt of many a jokes in the past two years. And he's, you know, shown himself at his lowest and was mocked for that. And now is putting on a positive happy front and taking all the jokes on the chin and laughing. Ha 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 ha. Pause. Just wanted to quickly add here that as a woman, when you look to your husband or your partner as a protector, men often feel like they need to spring into action. And sometimes physical responses are the responses that they can provide in that moment. Ha <laughs> ha, big laugh like it's funny. But we are humans and those things chip away at your sense and sensibility, your emotions, your feelings, your confidence, and your control over your anger sometimes. So I think Will went into, you know what? Y'all can joke about me and we can laugh about it and I can handle it. But this subject matter is not funny. And I will not accept you making fun of my wife. Now, I know some of you are going to say, well, you know, if you're in Hollywood, you have to get used to it. And da -da 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 -da. Nobody has to get used to being chipped away at. Hollywood is about being actors, singers, creators, and the like. It comes with the territory, but that doesn't mean it's acceptable. That doesn't mean it's easy. And I think the reality is, is that, especially with not being out of our houses and socializing properly in the last two and a half years... Some things are more touchy than might have been two, three years ago. And people socially aren't as with it as we used to be. I know for me, there are about two to three topics that will cause me to backhand you. Um, and, you know, being protective of your family is usually one of those topics. So I say all of this to say this. Will Smith was wrong. Because, especially being a black man. But I think the reason why Chris Rock is not choosing to press charges at this time is because he might have learned he crossed the line. And as a comedian, I'm sure he may not have, it's not the first time he's experienced assault, whether it be verbally based on a joke or physically based on a joke. Not to say that that's okay, but sometimes shit happens. And I think that there is some history there that we don't know about that I have started to see in, come out in the uh, newsreels that there's something beyond this between Chris Rock, Jada, and Will Smith. And I'm interested to find out more about it, to be honest. And to see Chris Rock respond to Will Smith when Will said, you know, keep my name's wife out your mother effing mouth. And he said, I will. It was almost as if there was some sort of 
You crossed the line. I know I did. Stop it. All right, I'm done. Between the two of them. And I think, especially the way Will Smith sauntered on the stage and, and then walked off and like fixed himself like, you had this coming. That's the vibe I received from Will Smith during that whole thing. And then he proceeded to break down because he realized I... I, I lost it. I lost my cool. And he's tried to, you know, present himself to the world as a very cool, calm and collected, positive mind, positive energy person. And I think Chris Rock might have known the button to push to break him. And I guess I'm also wondering, why wasn't he escorted out? Why did Will not leave? Why did Denzel and Tyler Perry take him to the side and try to calm him down? But he was the one who was the who did the transgression, so to speak. There's something there that we don't know. And when he won the award, they let him speak. Samuel Jackson dapped the shit out of him like, my dude. Like, again, there's something there. Um, no, it's not okay to put your hands on people. That's my logical side. My gangster side says, if you run your mouth, expect to get what you get. Don't speak on things unless, you get, you, unless you're prepared to handle what comes with it. Right? I'm of two minds. And at the end of the day... Will Smith will likely pay in some form, but I think and I hope that him and Chris Rock can handle it like men, speak on it privately, and let it go, and let the world continue to wonder what was it all about? What was it? What was that? Ultimately, slapping the shit out of somebody ain't never the way to go, but sometimes you feel like it's your only option. Is it all right? No. Is it, is, is it is what it is? Sometimes, yeah. And sometimes you're willing to pay the consequences to, to remind people, don't think you can always push me and it's always going to be okay. Have some respect about some things. Some topics aren't okay. And me personally, there's a few topics that if you run up on me and you say some things, I might not be able to control my hand like Will did. Because some topics just ain't that funny. Anyway, this has been Miss Polished Opinions Opinion. See you next time. Let me just quickly add that while this is my take on it, if the other side could very easily be, easily be that Chris Rock responded the way he did because he realized Will was off the edge, lost it, and he felt like he needed to be the one to de-escalate the situation. He made the joke. He realized it was not received well, and he was like, all right, I'm done, you know, because he didn't put his hands up expecting it or anything like that. It was a very off the cuff move so the opposite argument of this is very much that will smith's emotions got the best of him he's had a lot of people mock him for many years he's lost it and for some reason chris was the straw that broke the camel's back and he responded very negatively and i think that might be also why he may have cried the way he did when he made his acceptance speech because he was wrong but you notice he never apologizes to chris he apologizes to his fellow actors and the academy but never chris specifically so I go back and forth between the two, really.